guide to defeat the black bean king so there are three things you have to watch out in this fight and one is you don't want to attack the boss the black bean king that stays in the front with mental damage because yeah if you do he reduces his damage taken we he reduces the damage that you deal and the damage that you take so yeah make sure to not hit the boss the guy in the front with mental damage that is one key part another key thing about this fight is that the, they inflict you with a debuff when entering battle and at the end of each round so you constantly have one of your teammates with a debuff on and that debuff makes it so that when this character takes action he cannot gain moxie and instead when he takes action he loses moxie so whenever you want to use an ultimate with a character make sure to watch out for this debuff and only use actions with characters that while they're inflicted with this debuff and you don't care about using your ultimate ability with this character like for example as you will see in the fight that we do in just a second my two fairy she's my healer and she was inflicted with this debuff but I still did go for the heal as I needed the heal and I don't care about using her ultimate ability anyways but yeah if a character that you plan to use your ultimate with has this debuff skip skip around and make sure you don't lose moxie due to this debuff what you also have to watch out for, which isn't listed here for some reason, is that when you uh, deal damage to the boss, whoever character deals damage to him, he will counter attack that. So in case you want to do a lot of damage with one character and one round, watch out for this counter attack so it doesn't kill you. But yeah you will see an ex a perfect example for this in the fight that we will do in just a second another thing that is not too much of a big deal but it's something to mention is there's a guy in the back the white rooster guardian if you can avoid dealing reality damage to him because that will make him go into taunt and he will take 30% less damage but yeah again this is not something that you have to worry about we 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 focus the boss with all the damage that we have we watch out for the debuff we don't deal mental damage to the boss and we keep his counter attack in mind those are the three things that matter here and if you take care of these three things if you're aware of these three things you should win the fight so with all of that being said let's let's watch me fight okay he will inflict the debuff and we see debuff is on 37 so we don't use any actions with 37 for this round Now the debuff is on two fairy, so we don't want to use any actions with two fairy this round. Charging. 
charging. It could be time. The moment of silence. We walk in long nights. Target confirmed. Go. Damage. Oh, it's a bubble. Benefit from reading. And now we're in a scenario where, yeah, the debuff is on two fairy, but we don't care too much about two fairy's ultimate ability anyways, and we need the heal. So, we are we just gotta have to roll with it and heal. Even th if that means she loses that one moxie. We don't care too much about it anyways, so we just use the heal. Functioning properly. Loading. Charging. It could be found. I, robot, child of science. Enemy attack. Target confirmed. Faraday's miracle. Balance. Yeah, we lost Lucy because we did go really nuts. But that's no problem. The damage that she dealt makes that more than worth it. of truth. Benefit from reading. <sighs> the scale of your soul has tilted. The balance needs to be restored. Victory secured. I should excuse myself. Yeah, and there we have it. We still cleared it with two stars, even though Lucy died. Again, that's not a problem. All we had to do was clear the stage within 12 rounds, and we did just that. <laughs> 